Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be playing Fears to Fathom Home Alone. It's the first in the currently three episode series. Uh, I'm a little bit late to the party but according to Steam. Before I played Fears to Fathom episode 1 I had a small pee, pee no friends, no girlfriend, depression and no life. These things haven't changed but the game is pretty good. If it works for him it can do it for me. So let's get into it. July 12th. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. I guess I'll just start. It was the middle of the summer. The parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip, which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. So I did plan on fixing that. The good old days of college and school and having a terrible sleep schedule. Stressed through the nines. Ooh. I woke up around 8 after a nap that evening. sunset Dad and I may be back by Sunday evening Why are you being so paranoid? Mom, I'm 14 I think I'm gonna take a little nap Probably gonna order some pizza Yes No need to order anything I already made you lasagna this evening Check the fridge oh, But that's not as fun Okay, messages Mason all over How's Kem? Yeah, crap, I totally forgot. Probably gonna do tonight. Well, same. My parents are out for the night. Wanna come over? We can play Mario Kart 2. I'll let you know. Okay, call Josh too. Can't promise, dude. May have plans, but not. SMH. Just help me procrastinate already. Don't ask me why, but it went straight into my parents' room. I'm guessing this is not part of the story. Oh? What are you scaring my dog for? No one terrorizes my dog except me. Okay. I don't like the crouch mechanic much. Yeah. Oh. G to throw. How do I eat this up? In the oven. Ooh. Doggy! Where's my dog gone? What's this? It was nice and hot. I like watching TV while I eat. Yes. I heard someone get out outside. What the hell is this? What are we eating? Ah, okay. Lasagna can't be good enough to not notice that man. Finish it. I was already feeling very sleepy after eating the food. Lad, there is somebody upstairs. I ate the whole lasagna. Came in the back door. The fridge. We're gonna have to call it off, man. Something just came up, but you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow. There's some more important things in Jessica right now. Hello, sir. Am I shaking walking up the stairs? Is he? 
Eh, I'm sorry, Miles. Got to see you tomorrow. Don't forget, game. Chill out, dude. I'll probably just go back to bed after game. Um, someone walked up my stairs, man. Where are you? Close that door. And that will take care of it. I remember I had homework to do before going to bed again. He's just not taking me seriously, this fella. Twelve thirty eight AM. I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Okay. I'm not dead yet. Maybe it looked it was a lasagna hangover or something. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Mrs. Paula this time. I got the bed. I have to get some water. Music or someone hacking at my door. Cheese to throw right click the drink. Oh, there's nothing better than a nice cold drink in the middle of the night. Um Is this door closed? It is. Heart rate's gone a little bit up, I won't lie. You there? Paula sent me. Said he's been creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. You kids lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door no matter what he does. Oh. Didn't need that sound all of a sudden. That red faced bastard. Right. I don't want to. There's no lock option. Okay. Um. Alright. The thing is not to panic, the thing is to hide in your room. Under the bed. There we go. Let's have a quiet pint until it all settles down. Bollocks. Paula at the door. How do we know it's Paula though? Alright, Paula. Where be you? <gasps> it might actually have been Paula at the door. Gonna draw attention to myself. <gasps> I'm not here. No one's here. Stay in the bed. I don't care if it tell Paula to get in. Please tell Paula to get in. I'm so sorry, honey. Everything's gonna be alright. Just tell Paula to hurry up, please. <gasps> yes. We're safe. As many guns as you can bring into the house, please. Can I go now? Is 
Thank you, Paula. You saved me. <laughs> Absolutely love that. That was such a simple game. Apparently, these are real stories. There's a few games about it now. Allegedly, they're real stories that the, uh, the creator has coded for us. He has a good way of keeping you on edge, uh, really engrossing you in the story, making you feel like you're there, kind of getting you to go through the motions as if you're like you would on a normal night like this, not pay attention to somebody getting into the house, walking up the stairs that time when it was eating the lasagna. Nice and short and sweet. There's like multiple endings where it's mostly just you dying. <laughs> but uh, the good ending, obviously we got that nine. That's the main, main thing. There's two more after this. I'm going to play them over the next week and upload them as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you really enjoyed it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye for now.